Hey everyone, um, it's me, Rylan, and it's December 14th, 2018, and it is 8.13 in the morning. So, for those of you that watch my videos, you know that I never plan out what I'm going to say. I just completely word vomit and just whatever happens, happens. But this is like... Sorry, I'm putting lotion on. Winter hands. Um, but like, I really, really don't know where I'm going with this video because I don't even know what my opinion is <laughs> I'm about to talk about. Like, usually I have an opinion for the most, like, on what I'm going to talk about, but I don't even know how I feel. So um, I'm going to unpack this on camera. So I was on set yesterday and I was talking with someone, I was, was talking to someone about Mr. Robot, the TV show starring Rami Malek. You might know him from Mr. Robot or he's playing Freddie Mercury in um, Bohemian Rhapsody. So the two things that you might know him from. Um, and we were talking about Mr. Robot because... Um, his character, Elliot Alderson, has a very serious mental illness. Um, I don't know that I want to, like, spoil it. I won't spoil it in case you watch the show because I think everyone should watch it because it's, like, literally one of the greatest shows I've ever seen of my life. Um, and actually at that point in the conversation, I don't even think we had even discussed what kind of mental illness he had because she said something like, yeah, like, I I don't know if he has a gift or not because, how do I say this without spoiling it? I might have to spoil it. Fuck it. Spoiler alert. I'll put it in the description. I'll put, like, Mr. Robot season one, all season spoiler alert. She said something like, yeah, I don't know if he has a gift or not for being able to see his dad because we find out that he is able to see his dad who passed away. And I said, I don't know that that's a gift because essentially he has DID because in the show he's has a voiceover and a narration and he's talking to us as the audience and he sees his dead father which is an altar. So um, those are two altars, and DID is also was, used to be known as multiple personality. But it was really weird because my response was, well, sometimes mental illness can be a gift. And I don't know why those words came out of my mouth. Like, if you watch my videos, you know like, I make my videos to talk about mental health. I talk about my journeys and my struggle. And it usually, I don't try to pose my videos in any specific way. I'm not like, mental illness is a good thing. You know what I mean? I don't try to, like, end it on, like, a button note and say, you know, things are great. But I was just really surprised that I said this. I... I was just like, that's a really strange thing to say. Because is mental illness a gift? Is it? Is potentially like drug abuse or alcohol abuse or self-harming or being manic or all the other horrific things that come along with mental illness, seeing things, hearing things that aren't there. Is that a gift? I am going to say overall, no, I don't think that those are gifts. And I'm speaking from my personal space because I've experienced some of those things that I just mentioned. Are they a gift in the sense that I have learned to be mentally strong and I've learned to be um, that I'm a strong person 
Certainly, I've learned lessons and I've experienced things that other people will never experience in their entire lives. If you want to look at it that way, then yeah, it's a gift. But I wouldn't say that me having self-harmed for three months and hating my life and not being able to function as a human being, you know, and being manic for my worst episode was uh, not not too, too long ago. I want to say like maybe like three or four months ago. That episode lasted like a month and a half. I wouldn't call that a gift. I wouldn't call not being able to sleep and being all over the place a gift. So I was really surprised that I said that. Um, but then I want to play the devil's advocate and say that there are some positive qualities that I can name about having mental illness. Um, specifically, I was thinking about having borderline personality disorder. With my borderline, I feel... Now, this is also, like, it's a plus and minus at the same time. I feel, like, clinically, statistically, scientifically, you know, chemically, I feel emotions different from people, from everyone else. I have a personality disorder. So the way that I experience emotions are much more intense than other people, which gives me the ability to be more empathetic, to be more compassionate and loving, and just allows me to really sink in and love a person and really care about someone to a greater degree than most people will ever be able to. There's a Shakespeare quote, my my bounty is as boundless as the sea. Um, the more love I give to thee, the more I have for both are in, for both are infinite. Infinite. Heh. Words. Probably fucked up that quote too. But it's, it's mostly to say that I can love so much and it doesn't matter. The more love I have, the more I give, I'll just have more and more. So I think that is a positive quality that I, I, I have so much love to give. But then also that can go in the wrong way too because if you give that love to the wrong person or you become clingy, well, you're just going to piss everyone off and push everyone away. I also think mental illness, my bipolar can be a gift because I am extremely creative. Um, and I think that is, I mean, there are so many famous people that are creative, um, successful people, you know, like obviously famous people, they're successful. Um, and they were addled with bipolar disorder and I don't attribute my creativity in any way. I'm not like, I'm an actor because I have bipolar. I don't attribute that to my mental illness, but you know, they just, they happen to coexist. Is there a connection? Probably, but I don't, I don't look at my, my artistry and attribute that to mental illness. So I think what I'm trying to say is um, I don't know that it's a gift because I know that they're, whether or not someone's going to comment this or not, comment on here or not, um, whether or not someone watches this or not, there will, people, there will be people that will argue that mental illness is absolute fucking hell that it has ruined their lives, that they can't function, you know, fuck you, Rylan, how dare you say this? There are people that will say that, and that's fine. That is fine. They can say that. They can feel that, like, live your truth, feel that way. And people might be watching this video and think that I am completely well-adjusted and my life is perfect and great. Today, I'm doing fine. Right now, I'm doing fine. I don't know how I'm going to feel in an hour. I don't know where I'll be at the end of the day. I mean, I have two. I have a mood disorder and a personality disorder to both give me fucking mood swings. Like, who knows where I'll be in 15 minutes? You know what I mean? 
So I'm just saying, like, also, like, don't judge a book by its fucking cover when it comes to mental health, because it might seem like someone has their shit together, and they might be withering like a dead flower inside, but that's, like, a whole nother topic. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying someone might watch this video and say that there is nothing positive about mental illness, but I guarantee you at least one positive thing is, is that if someone struggles with mental illness... The fact that they are still fucking alive and struggling, no matter how hard they're struggling, is they're alive, they are breathing, and that is a gift. If anything can be taken away as a gift of mental illness, and that person is still on this earth, that's the gift right there.